Hi, this is Danielle Zana. I'm wanting to do a video response uh, into with computer computing forever. Um, first of all, I want to say I really love your technology videos with computers and that. But I am deeply. Uh, I'm. I just don't subscribe to your bloody primitive, barbaric, primitive views uh, with uh, politics. Um, which is why I originally unsubscribed from your channel because I just didn't want your bullshit political views in my inbox because I was only interested in um, your information and what you say about computers, operating systems, smartphones, tablets, gadgets and whatnot and, uh, and I often share the, and agree with a lot you say about with your technology reviews and things like that um, the way um, uh, plan obsolescence has become a, ma a major thing in recent operating systems um, uh, the problem with Apple that is going downhill um, um, with the operating systems and the recent hardware where it's very difficult to upgrade which is why I got myself a um, a Hackintosh. So um, so when I've also got a Mac, I'm using my MacBook Pro. But um, I'm going to do a video response with something because I'm just sick and tired of having to deal with the sort of ignorance about gender and gender issues. Um, and um, I just don't like it. It's put it's put today what I found in my inbox. It kind of conjured old memories in the past of childhood, which I kind of kept suppressed. And yes, your vi even though I'm subs unsubscribed from it, your video still popped up in my feed. And they still do. Um, when I click and watch them, then they go away. Um, your previous video you did five days ago, it's, uh, that's what, it uh, only seems to do that on my iPad. So, uh, which is a bit odd, but but this recent video that you've done has got me to the point where I, I have to do a freaking response to you. Um, because I'm just sick and tired of this ignorance and, and, and people just climbing on the bandwagon. I have to deal with this bullshit every single day. I was just about to go ready, get ready for the art studio. And what I do is when I'm lying in bed, you know, waking up, I sometimes browse and read things, watch a few videos and whatnot on my iPad. So this is recently on my iPad, where I see the video um, of you. Um, when you click on it and you watch it, it does not go in the feed. See, it's still in, it's still in there. So if I click on it. I have to say, in general, Apple's WWDC 2016. And if I close the app, I don't think you would show up again until you upload a new one. There we go. Oh, there we go. There's your other one. Why Hollywood is just is doomed. Yeah. You're still showing up in my feed, even though I'm not unsubscribed to you. There's nothing I can do about that, but I I am really annoyed, upset, annoyed uh, about your ignorance and promoting of ignorance when it comes to gender issues with transsexual people. And um, see, you can see I'm unsubscribed there, and I'm still getting the feed. Um, so now I'm going to go on and respond to this vid vid particular video. Um, before I do that, and then you about your views on fem feminism and things like that. Have you ever asked yourself why does extreme feminism exist? Have you? Or did you ever ask yourself why? When you think about it. Um, whenever there's a a reaction, there's always an opposite, equal reaction. The result of extreme feminism is because of the discrimination towards women. 
and um, particularly if you know that much of secret societies like Freemasonry um, kind of um, how would I put in word hog or uh, um, involved in, in controlling many of uh, job opportunities places and states um, any form of uh, social things like in the, in the work related place and all that uh, and Freemasonry is an all male um, uh, cult that or society, it depends on how you're looking at it, because I would say they're cult because they, they follow particular religious doctrines and beliefs like a religion. And they even have temples. Um, so, what the problem is, these, these the reason why there's extreme feminism is because of Freemasonry and the Freemasonry discriminates women on a large extent. That is why you have the opposite and equal reaction happening where uh, women um, begin to fight for, for, for quality and they go overboard and um, it's because of this um, um, Freemasonry thing and um, no woman's allowed in Freemasonry and when you have Freemasonry you, get, you, have, you have the opportunity to get into jobs easily you have to all be employed, you have the um, the opportunity to climb up the higher levels uh, in government or whatever corporation you're employed by, or whatever thing. So um, that is why there is extreme feminism, and I'll tell you this straight. So you can actually go get down and start thinking even deeper. You go, you very much say, oh, feminism, feminism, oh, it's going wild, it's going crazy, it's going overboard, it's going beyond um, fighting for equality and all that, and you get the social justice warriors and all that shit. You need to think deeper into the problem um, in order to find a, a better solution. And the, 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 and do you also get the uh, Bohemian Grove? That is uh, like that is that with the with the real rich elites and politicians go there, and it's all male only. And the, well, how they treat the women that um, that work there, they clean or serve food and drinks, whatnot at that camp. They they get they trip like shit. So um, now you know why there's extreme feminism. Is 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 a the it's an opposite equal reaction to Freemasonry, and all these other secret societies that are behind the scenes or or form these niche cliches when it comes to employment politics and whatnot. So now I'm going to actually go to your video and talk about uh, respond to that because um, it's it's ruined my day of going to the studio and I need to get this done and over with. Uh, respond to you so I can you know continue and hopefully you'd learn something from it and um, yeah because I'm really I uh, you know I, I just don't like I didn't even like to unscrubbing from your channel because I liked your tech reviews but uh, there's this political shit and this ignorance about um, gender is just like that's it I, I can't be dealing with it Best way to deal is just, you know, voice your opinion and you know, unsubscribe. But somehow I still get your feet on the iPad. So there we go. I'm going to respond to this. Hello there. there. It's Tuesday, Tuesday, the 21st of June, 2016. 2016. Let's, Let's prepare to face time like we've never, never faced time before, before with the regressive news episode 12. 12. We'll begin with. with now, now boys can wear skirts, skirts to class as schools, schools introduce gender-neutral gender uniforms and a variety of sensitive trans children. children. I, don't I don't believe this should be something, something that we should be pushing on children. children. The thing is, I wouldn't say it's pushing on children, it's giving children the opportunity um, who have probably have like what I've had in my childhood, which is, which is why my childhood is a living hell, which is why I suffer from post-traumatic stress disorder today. And... Um, it's because of this whole uniform thing and uh, this gender segregation into the binary gender or gender grouping into binary um, groups of um, 
it all it is is control and ma manipulation. But uh, I've 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 had my st and I if if you know coming through from background of parents who had full surgery on me a month after I was born, which I was originally born with two genders, and then it was a forced journey to choose a gender what they wanted. It kind of and I knew since then. Well, as growing up, I knew I was somehow different because the way my brain was wired up, and I couldn't didn't really understand it. And the, uh, when I started exploring about it, I got punished at home and I got punished at school because I did not conform to uh, the gender binary system. Where this is um, allowing children to explore their gender identity is a good thing because some of the, the, the children could come from a, a home uh, where uh, the parents would have strong religious views and a very primitive perception about uh, uh, gender and all that. And um, and also, I'm gonna, we're going to respond to what you mentioned about learning. I'm not confused, confused about, about the world, the world and I'm uncertain, uncertain about how, how everything, everything works, works and, and they, they should just be allowed to be kids, kids enjoy their childhood, and go about their day. day. They should be learning, and growing, and doing, and doing all those wonderful things. If you are unhappy and uncomfortable in a, in, in, in a learning environment, you are incapable of learning because you are basically, your mind is preoccupied by stupid bullshit crap when you should be learning. And um, this is why I staggered a bit in my studies, um, is because of the whole uh, issue with my gender. I was not allowed to express my problems and get over it and focus on, 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 the, on the work at hand. I was, I was like, uh, really constrained from doing and which is why I, I, I struggled with um, learning. I eventually got what uh, my degree and all that but it, it, it would have I would have got it much quicker perhaps even quicker than the, than what the general people would get who don't have these issues to worry about on a day-to-day -day basis would do. You do when, when you are, are a small, small child. child. This, this Smacks me of a form, form of indoctrination, indoctrination into something. something. The whole two gender system is a form of indoctrination. This is from my view of, of looking what have I've experienced in life. You were born w one specific gender, and doesn't mean because you're born this one that, that, that everybody else is born like you with one specific gender. I was born with both, and I was forced to have one or the other, with against my own will. And then, as growing up, I my mind was conflicting with things, and um, and then eventually I chose my gender identity, and um, and it's still an ongoing battle for me. It's still a battle, and I'm sick of it, and uh, <clears throat> and ignorance is just prevailing, which is. Which is so frustrating in itself. To confuse them. And they shouldn't be worried about this kind of stuff. Now, the, the weird thing that was happening... I, I, if, if that's... A, if, that, if, 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 if I was at school at this time when um, ginger neutral school uniforms were allowed, I would not be thinking about uh, gender things. I'll be like expressing myself discover myself and then focus on my studies makes sense firstly there are only two genders there's no there's no such thing as gender neutral you are either um i disagree i was born with both you, there's people there's not just me there's many people who are a uh, 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 born uh, with with uh, both or somewhere in between, and even transsexual people are, are actually I, I consider um, are in between because their minds, their their brain structure, is not is not the same as uh, the brain gender isn't the same as their um, the gender that uh, uh, the, 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 the 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 parts the, the, the reproductive parts the gender classifications of society. 
but you're female. female. We're sexy, sexy dimorphic. dimorphic. There aren't seven. Um, um, I'll if you want to be simple, there's actually three different types of genders of humanity. If you want to be sim simple and, and group the whole seventy whatnot into one thing as gender variant, there's actually three. If you, it's only in this society that they that, that seem to just say two genders. If you go in your history and you look at other cultures and all that, Native Americans, they had a third gender uh, a group. Um, ancient India, they had a third gender group. Japan, they had a third gender group. All through human history, besides um, cultures that were influenced by Christians, the, the religious, um, the Judeo, the Abrahamic Christian Judaism, Islamic beliefs, even pre-Islam in in Arabia, they they um, um, they see Muhammad said to exile. The, even even then, there there were three um, um, genders, general genders, and also uh, quite ironically, quite recently, I got in my mail because I'm subscribed to Rail Signs. Um, complex of circumstances that define your gender. There's a whole um, article about it. Um, you know, science, you can't deny science and stuff. And then there are animals that can reverse their sex uh, in order when, when the reductive mates become a certain scarcity. If there's too many males in the... Uh, some of them turn to females, and when there's too many females, some of them uh, turn to males. So, uh, you get it in nature as well. No. We're sexy, sexy dynamic, 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 you're actually, You're actually contradicting, contradicting yourself throughout, throughout this article. article. Scores, Scores of schools, schools have adopted gender to uniform, uniform policies that allow boys to wear skirts. It's the same thing as the, the, the bathroom, bathroom issue before. before. The, the idea, idea that, that a child oh, that's a whole bathroom issue to select. The whole bathroom issue was a thing. That's why I originally decided to unscribe from your channel. Bathroom, bathroom they, they want, want to walk, walk into, into that day. Because I feel like a male. I feel like a female. That's obviously concerning. We, uh, you don't understand transsexual people or any uh, individual who's gender variant it's, it's is that uh, they don't feel that they, they are it's the way they, their minds are wired up um, it's like imagine imagine yourself in a, a female body you've got a mind of a male but you've got a female body just just imagine your, imagine yourself how would you go about doing things on a day-to-day -day thing. You obviously, you'll actually see the whole situation a different light if you actually imagine yourself in their shoes. And they can be confused or they can pretend or whatever. So, so this is something, something that, that an adult should be a reasonable age in adolescence or in adulthood. I disagree because I've had a traumatic childhood because of this bullshit of, uh, of, of, of binary gender, gender conformity and that's why I have post-traumatic stress disorder today which is why I can't move forward with a lot of things and that's why I'm on benefits and why, that's why I, I, I can't move forward because and then, then when I go front and when I go and try and get employment you just get like turned down turned down turned down regardless on, on how much you know about what you've studied and all that is is just is stupid. The whole thing is just pathetic, and you just seem to be promoting this bullshit. That's why this is why I just couldn't take being subscribed to a channel. You understand the weight of, of such a decision, decision to change gender or, or identify something, something else. else. But again, but again I'm still not about, about it, but I will give it the benefit of the doubt, at least for reading this article. article. However, Christian groups fear that introducing a choice of uniform could confuse youngsters. I'm finding more and more in an atheist. 
funny, funny. Uh, you claim you're an atheist, but you agree with the way the whole Christian thing. I would suggest look at other cultures besides the Christian-based cult. Uh, the culture, you know, most England was built on kind of like a Christian culture because it was uh, affected, invaded by Roman or If you had to go right back before Rome invaded uh, um, England, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they also had a, a sort of like a three-gender simple kind of way of grouping society um, uh, before before the Roman Empire came into England um, and uh, tried to spread Christianity. Uh, when you look at the pagan parts uh, in the history of of England, mm. Christian, Christian conservatives. conservatives. Well, honestly, honestly, just... Anyway, anyway Alan Prosser believed, believed to be the first state, state primary. Um, going on about that, it it was actually this whole uh, thing that I suffered through when I was a child that actually made me become an atheist. I was brought up in a very religious conformative uh, family. Uh, they believed uh, in God and all that. And um, I've, I've, I've got a brother. And he's still kind of believing in the same sort of primitive uh, Christian values um, um, of um, things. And, um, and he's now in a, a teacher at a Christian school. And now... He, now, now imagine me. Imagine if I was born like you, um, male or or just female. Um, do you think I would still be a religious, um, conservative point of view uh, person? Do you think I'd still be like that? It's a good question to think about. I think when I when I think about it, it's this whole struggle. Of, of dealing with these um, things in my childhood, it, it made me look things in really deeply um, uh, and then find out that uh, God just simply doesn't exist and all of this beliefs is just bullshit. And which is trying, which is making me like scratch my head and try and figure out you're an atheist and you kind of agree with this crap? It just doesn't make fucking sense at all. Uh, because much of this crap was, it, it originates or comes from uh, the the whole uh, Christian belief. That's why when they when they when they um, uh, the settlers went to other countries uh, um, to take over the native lands, they kind of and and when there was these when when they found out that there, there was like a, a third gender acceptable in society in in in, in cultures before colonialization they they soon abolished they, they abolished that and uh, anyone who was a, like a gender variant was was considered an outcast of society and we are still considered an outcast in society and it makes me fucking mad that you are promoting this shit to treat us like outcasts in society Things have got to change. People got to realize this is just the fuck. Everything's not just fucking binary. For fuck's sake. Pair, it has gender neutral uniform. Look at us, look how progressive we are. Head, Paul Weaver said. There were people who do not dress along traditional gender lines. That doesn't make any sense. I don't understand. I don't understand why along traditional gender lines. We have, we have traditional gender lines, male and female. So have you introduced a gender neutral uniform? No, you haven't. You have a male and female uniform, and guys can wear the female one if they wish to. But you can't have them again. And the girls can wear. The, the, the guy, guy uniform. uniform. Again, yeah, trousers, trousers are gender neutral anyway, aren't they? they? So, so I don't understand what they're not resolving traditional, traditional gender, gender lines. Because I've come all over the place. place. There's, There's nothing, nothing scientific, scientific in this. Um, traditional gender lines. That is basically like I'm trying to, what I'm trying to describe here is when uh, in the past, much of these, the way that boys would dress as this and girls dress that, um, Obviously, some people are kind of like mixing the uniforms up, I think. And that's, that's all. I actually don't really like uniforms in general. I think people should be able to express and wear what the hell they want. I actually hated uniforms when I was a kid. No psychologist talking here. There's no 
objective evidence. It's just a kind of down to feeling. If transgender people only make up, what, 0.3% of the population? It's such, it's such a small fraction of people. It's a possibility that none of the kids in your school are transgender. And Andrea Williams and Chris... <laughs> so, so we're basically like non-existent. Uh, uh, any gender variant is just like non-existent in society. You're just pushing us in the corner for, and just and, and just promote this bullshit. Theron said that gender-neutral uniforms could mean schools were pushing an agenda on impressionable minds. I can't say I totally disagree with that. A government source said, educate and celebrate receives funding for training staff to deal with transphobic bullying. Not, not to help implement the form policies. Now, now I, I get that. that. Right, right. So, so to deal with bullying, and making sure the kids are safe from bullying, bullying. I, can I can understand all of that. that. But, but dealing with transphobic bullying is a completely different thing than teaching about transgenders and teaching kids, hey, hey listen, if you feel a certain way, you can choose the path you want, you can choose the you want, you want to be a girl, you know what I mean? These are kids. And it says here that they are overstepping their bounds because they're not supposed to be implementing uniform. Policies. Basically, Basically, I said, I said the, government the government and the agenda, agenda groups that you align yourself with. Stay the hell away from our kids. Okay? okay. Uh, basically, I would have, if I was you and I was back in the day, I would say, still away from our kids with a flipping giant binary gender crap. Because uh, it's ruined my childhood. It's been giving me. I suffer from post traumatic stress disorder today, which is actually a genuine medical problem. Which is very hard to get out of, or, or even cure. It's like it's like you know, people go to war; they get post-traumatic stress disorder, and um, how they how they manage to date on things on a day-to-day -day basis is is they find it very hard to do it. And um, what you're doing is you're doing the same sort of thing, uh, promoting the same sort of thing uh, that that's given me that's made me ill, which which is why I just. Didn't want you to subscribe to the channel. Transgenderism, I'm still agnostic, still agnostic on the whole thing. thing. If there's real, real science behind it, then I have, I have to change, change my opinion. opinion. But transgenderism is real, and there's, and there's an objective scientific measurement for it. And I can take my child to a doctor, to a psychologist, and they can say, yes, you can see here, your son or daughter is transgender, and the best thing for them would be to transition based on what they're experiencing, and how this is impeding them psychologically, and how this is affecting their, their, their mental state, and what have you, mental and emotional state. That is something that a parent and a child will deal with themselves. That is not something the state should get involved in. I, the thing is, everybody should be involved in it because uh, sometimes, like what I like with my story is, um, my parents were not ex didn't they were they this they they were very religious and they just didn't agree with it. And I I think I, if I had um, if there wasn't an opportunity at school to kind of uh, educate my parents, and this is one way of doing it. I, I actually I'm very much for for it because I just don't want other children like myself to go through the same shit and then and when they grow up they just they can't get on with their lives because because they they've they've they they've, 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 spirits are, you could say they the terminology that the spirits are broken which is a term when, when when you get a dog and you abuse it and the dog becomes has a shit personality because that you'd say the spirit's broken it's because the dog has been abused. I've been abused because of this gender shit. And you're actually promoting this abuse because of your ignorance. You don't, don't need to do that, that because, because what this sounds, sounds like is different. different. This, this sounds, sounds like, like you're pushing, pushing an agenda, agenda on, on children, children who are... The whole binary um, thing is actually an agenda that's been pushed on through the ages by religion, the Christian belief, um, the Abrahamic beliefs. I am and people just trying to get out of that because when you look at other cultures, um, they they think differently to you, like India, Native Americans, Japanese. Uh, Most, Most of them are, are, are not, not going to be transgender. If, if I'm honest, though, I can't help but feel this is just another Marxist attack, like feminists, on gender, a war on men and women, particularly the war on boys, attacking masculinity from a young age, attempting to kill boys, which is something feminism in academia has been doing for a very long time. Let's move on to the next story. 20-year-old migrant to rape a 10-year-old boy. Yeah, that's what i got to say. And, um... 
and um, uh, yeah, I mean, you go just before they you talk about Brexit, uh, and then in the end of your video, you, you just you just explained yourself why you feel the whole um, referendum is because a lot of cods wallop, and then you just. Um, Share this video and hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time. See, vote. You said you just explained yourself um, why you feel the whole referendum thing is a load of bollocks, but you still participate and say vote Brexit, which contradicts to what you you, you what you said that how corrupt the whole uh, referendum thing is. Uh, I'm not voting at all. Seriously, I'm not voting at all because I know the whole thing is a is a setup and um, to fuck people in the ass. And um, regardless way whether it's Brexit or not Brexit, uh, things are not going to be the same in the UK anymore. And um, and that's what I call the the referendum aftermath. I think I'm finished now with the video, and um, I hope you think about what what you're saying. If you if you basically a uh, don't your research about gender and uh, sciences and all that, then I would say and you and you support the religious conservative primitive views about re um, gender, uh, and don't even even look about other cultures about it. It's been through history and all that. Um, then I would say, fuck you. Seriously, fuck you. Uh, that's if you just kind of like put me aside and continue on your uh, political rant or or, or um, push, I don't know, um, politically stupid political views. Then I would say, fuck you, really. Um, and um, I just don't know how I'll get the feeds. It's a, it's a great lo uh, disappointment because I really liked your um, tech videos. Because uh, I think that's the only stuff that I appreciate that comes out of your your mind. Besides political bullshit and especially the, the gender crap which you're totally ignorant about. Anyway, I hope you learned something. We'll do some research. And realize that there isn't only two genders.